With your connection to agriculture, I'm Joanna Guza. Mike North with Ever Ag was on the Dairy Stream podcast brought to you by DBA and Edge, and he shares insight on who can hedge. Anyone that has risk, by definition, can hedge. And so it spans the entire supply chain. And that would mean that the dairy processor who has risk in the the crush from what it costs to buy milk, to convert and make a product, they can manage risk at the exchange or use over-the-counter products or forward or, you know, some other type of contractual agreement. They can manage risk just as much as anybody that's further upstream at the farm. If I talk about it in the context of managing risk on the farm. Basically, all farmers can manage risk across any market where there's products and available outlets to do so. So Livestock producers, the dairy producer, the grain producer, wherever there's a contract offered either at the exchange or there's an insurance policy offered that matches up with what it is they're producing, they can manage risk. And I want to be careful as I talk about insurance products When I talk about insurance products as a way of managing risk, we're not talking about property and casualty type of insurances, whereby if there's a fire and something causes damage to the crop or to the cattle, that there's a physical loss. No, we're talking about an actual insurance product that's used to manage the revenue of that particular product. Because when we talk about hedging, it's always about the financial elements, not so much about the physical assets themselves. So as we go down that path, any producer, large or small, has access to hedging products that will match with their particular situation against what I'll call all mainline crops, all mainline livestock and dairy production. When you start moving into specialty areas, it starts getting a little bit uh, difficult to do that. But any mainline agricultural production today is pretty much covered by insurance, and products at the Chicago uh, Mercantile Exchange, both futures and options, as well as often forward contracts, and then to that extent also those OTC products. So you mentioned producers, processors. What about brands and the grocery stores? Are they involved in this at all? To the extent that they have commodity risk, yes. But a lot of retailers and those that are at the farthest end of the supply chain often are dealing in processed products that have been differentiated away from being a true commodity. I might sell Wheaties, but that's not to say I have direct risk on wheat. That would be a step back to the actual manufacturer of the cereal. You know, the reality for us is that you have to have direct commodity exposure to really benefit from these particular tools. 